been so long. An entire month without playing it. Who's this? Mercy. My lower left arm feels weird. My right palm feels weird. Okay. I got you. Uh, lower left arm. Diagnose dance dance style. So good, Chad. Look at me remembering three things. I'm so good at it. <laughs> and write poem. Come on. There you go. Relaxing balm and sun drops, which is wonderful because we have both of them. And then you? Barrages. I do wish it said something different, like if it's rashes, you know, they would say it, like it itches or something like that, maybe. I don't know, I feel like it would make more sense. Like, I get it. It's the point of doing a diagnosis, but they just keep saying the same line. Thanks for taking care of me. I really want to lie down at home as soon as possible. We can all get that. Hi, Jared. Look at you. So cute. Uh, what should we do today? Hmm. That's a great question, right? Befriend villagers, sure. That's our main quest, so maybe we focus on that today. Is he there? I kind of like him. He's a bad boy. Don't know where he's at, though. Do we have a map that tells it? No. Okay. We gotta find them. And of course, we gotta befriend a cat. This is the most important part of all times. Where's your kitty? I hear you've been doing a lot of fishing lately. Come and pay me a visit at the park. There's something I would like you to meet. Leano. To the park. Giving them away for free? Some cookies. Town Square. Okay, that's at 8. Oh. Did I... Was I in your way? She got angry. Oh my god, there's some girls! Look at all the moo-moos. Oh, And the sheeps! Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. You want me to try your cookies? Go on, take as many as you like. Let's have a taste, shall we? Nom nom nom. <laughs> oh! Oh no! How do they taste? <laughs> they smell wonderful and the flavor is completely unique. <laughs> Do you want to take some more with you? Yes! I'll share some with the Rick. He will be thrilled. Oh, I've gotta go. I've got an appointment. Good luck with your cookies. Okay. Oh. Poor her. Hmm. Hi! I made some cookies this morning. 
Want to give them a try? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the matter? Is there something wrong with them? Uh, you know, it's, it, it's not the best. May I try a little bit? Didn't you try them before? Before giving them away? You're right. It tastes funny. I think I accidentally added garlic instead of ginger. Ooh. Ugh. I would explain. If I'd re <laughs> realized earlier, I would have liked to try them. Oh. Thank you for being so honest. Being frank with other people takes a lot of courage. I'll try not to be so upset-minded next time. Keep it up. I'll finish the rest of the cookies at home by myself. <laughs> oh. Well. If I made another batch of cookies, would you like to try them? Mm-hmm. Of course. Don't be scared of them next time, okay? I promise it will be better. <laughs> no way more. Oh! She's a friend now. And then, is this the park here? Wait, what did it say? It does say park. Yeah, it is. Hey, it's the chemist. It do be me. I see you here often. Leano tells me you enjoy fishing. Yeah. Our chemist does indeed. No, I called you over here because I wanted you to show us your fishing rod. <gasps> fishing rod of great. That's right, your fishing rod. Can I see it? I can see there's something wrong with it. It's too weak. Let me have a closer look. Hmm. Your fishing rod is starting to thin out and get fragile, you know? You use it so much it's wearing out. <laughs> yes. You can upgrade this fishing rod. Isn't that right? I can, but I'll need better materials if you want me to make a better rod than that. What is it you need? I need some materials to make a stronger fishing rod for our chemist. Hey chemist, you're listening, aren't you? <laughs> uh, yes. Go on and collect the materials he wants and bring it back to me. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Because I see so much potential in you. And I don't want it going to waste. That's sweet. Short thing. Talk to Xiao. Okay, let's do these two things first. Didn't realize we had that many things to do. Hi. So you've been... So you've done what they asked you to do? Sounds good. I'll send them a message shortly. <laughs> Damn, they be quick. <laughs> and hello. <laughs> hmm. Mr. Secretary does have a name, you know. I rushed over here as soon as I heard the news from Xiao. Now, where are the results? Let me have a look. Mm-hmm. This is such good news. What kind of ingredients did you use to brew this potion? Ba 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 ba. Uh huh. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> I see you really are doing your homework here. As chemists, we must always think about the ingredients that will enter our patients' bodies. I had no idea that plants 
grown on this island could be so valuable for people on the other side of the world. Every ingredient has its own beneficial effect on our body. What chemists do is make sure that these effects are pressed into service to help those in need. And on that note, you have passed the test. Great! Thank you! <laughs> Colin, please give Mary the license. With pleasure. Here's your new license. Onwards and upwards. <laughs> By the way, we've got a train to catch. It's been a pleasure. No, please, excuse us. Mm -hmm. Have a safe trip. Potion recipes! Yes! Oh, chat is hungry. Oh no. We'll feed you after. You said you'd like to discuss something with me. Mm hmm. Of course. Let's head over to my house and talk there in private. Isn't that usually what your office is for? Like, hmm. <laughs> the cable car over the glazed iceberg? Hmm. Yes, I certainly could give you my permission by promoting your badge level. But, in order to do that, I would need proof of your qualifications. Do you have anything you could show me to prove you're progressing as a chemist? Hmm. Ba 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 ba. A letter of recommendation from the medical association? Yes, that would do nicely. With the letter in hand, I would feel more confident about upgrading your badge. Mm hmm. Sure. So come and see me once you've got it, alright? Isn't that what we just got though? Oh! Apparently not. Okay. Um. Come here, chat. Oh. Let's give you some mushies. There you go. Let's pet you too. Good chat. Yeah, I remember that. That's how we ended the last episode, isn't it? North of Meadow Range. Deliver to Osman, Slime Kisser. Mm hmm. Ah, it tells you where to gather the things. That's so nice. That's really useful. Oh, careful, chat. Get out of the way. Ooh, I forgot about all these. Ah. Ooh, that was close. We got it. New plant? Well, well. You really did get rid of all the bugs. Now these plants can grow unhindered. Ba 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 ba. Victor helped you? That's unexpected. I didn't know he was good with bugs. Wasn't he like obsessed with them? <laughs> Thank you for restoring some of our plants. Of course. Ba, 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 ba. Ooh, thick plants. Look at that. What are you? Konjai? Konjai? I don't know how to pronounce that. I like to imagine it's cognac. <laughs> like the alcohol. <laughs> Even though it's probably not. <laughs> though it's not giving any sound. Guess we're just unlucky.
Yeah, I don't even think we're gonna have enough energy for this one. Ooh, just enough. Just enough. Oh, she's right here. We got everything. You found the material? Good job. Now, let's go and find Rainer. Follow me. Here you go, your new fishing rod. That was quick. <laughs> well, I hope the new rod makes you an even better fisherman. I see a lot of potential in you, chemist. And I want to show you that fishing can be a lot of fun. Liana, I've never seen you so excited. Well, I've just got a passion for the briny deep. That's it. <laughs> now off you go. Both of you have more important things to do. Mm -hmm. Intermediate fishing rod acquired. You know what that means, chat. Hey, Creek. How are you doing? I actually saw my family this weekend, so that was really nice. It was a lot of fun. What's that fish over there? I thought it looked fancy for a second, but... Pretty goldfish. Yeah, so for Christmas this year, you know, because we're getting all pretty old now. <laughs> we're not kids anymore. So we decided to do only two gifts of a range within $50 and we are just gonna do that and we're not gonna actually give everyone gifts because it's a lot of money you know and we all don't really like that Christmas has been so materialized these past years so we kind of just want to hang out for Christmas and enjoy some nice food and that's it so we decided to meet yesterday and pick up the names for that and it made my mom so happy that we gathered for that because we kind of just had a big brunch and it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun i'm glad it made my mother so happy Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was bugged out. <laughs> we were just chilling with a lot of food. A little bit of wine. That's really fun. Ooh! Collect 10 types of fish in Moonberry achievement. In Moonberry? Are you saying there's another place to fish? What kind of food? Um, it was a huge brunch, so there was like sausages, bacon, and there was also ham. There was some some breads that my sister made. We had some fresh raspberries and pineapple. My mom made some fluffy pancakes 
and what else was there? That was a lot. <laughs> And there was some veggie sausages for me too, which was so sweet to think of me. And some homemade breakfast potatoes too. That was a lot. But what's nice is everyone kind of worked a little bit on it, right? That way it wasn't just like my mom hosting and having to do everything. Oh, you're a vegetarian, didn't know that. <laughs> I don't like to mention it because a lot of people have, you know, opinions about it. But I didn't become vegetarian out of choice. It's for health reasons. And eventually it became more of a moral reason. But yeah. I'm just not, I don't want anyone to feel bad or anyone to, you know. So that's why I just, I don't answer it because it's not that important, is it? What you eat doesn't really matter, I think. Good to see you again. After your tests, we talked everything over. Dr. Nestor is very happy with everything you've achieved here. And what's more surprising, Moira feels the same. <laughs> That's awesome. It's a miracle, right? I never thought I would have a discussion with Moira that didn't turn into an argument. She's deadly serious, in a total cynic, but also very smart. A perfect model student. Boring. <laughs> Oops, sorry. That was a bit off topic. I'm here because Dr. Nestor wants to give you this letter. It's a letter of recommendation. Ooh, so we have it. We really hope that you'll keep working and studying on this island. Oh, what I said about Moira just now. Let's keep it between us, okay? <laughs> I'll see you soon. My sis is Vege. Some of the stuff she says about me really grosses you out. Yeah. My dad was Vege too when I was in high school. The fridge was a lot different, I'll just say that. Yeah, I was really lucky because my mom had been a vegetarian for, I believe, 15 years of her life before she had kids because she didn't want to force us into, you know, eating what she wanted us to eat, especially with the men she, she was with. But when she was alone for part of her life, she was vegetarian, so she taught me a lot on how to properly eat veggie um, and stuff like that. And she's an incredible cook. She taught me everything and I'm an incredible cook too because of her. So I was really lucky that she was able to help me through some health struggles that I had, um, for sure. And the reason why I stayed vegetarian is probably because of my mom, because she just taught me the best of it, honestly. Oh! Dean! My right ankle feels weird. Okay, buddy. Bruises. There you go! That was easy. <laughs> Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Wow, I feel so much better now. You're welcome. How are we gonna do you? That sounds weird. Mm -hmm. <gasps> ah, don't pay attention to what I said, please. Yeah, I do feel like. Oh my god. Okay, maybe we don't make five of that. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. I see. I see, I see, I see, I see. So we need the upgrade. Let's see if we can make the upgrade then. Oh. Hi there. How can I help you? Getting bored of that old potion house already, huh? <laughs> Well, I'm sure I can help make it more comfortable for you. It would be nice to fix that old place up. I'll just need the lumber in my payments. That won't be a problem, right? Probably not. 
We got that wood, boy. Don't you worry. Is it on the shop? Mm. Oh my god, that's a lot of money. Ugh. That's a lot of money. I think I would rather us do the... Upgrades in the house before... The ones outside of it. We really don't need help, like truly. We need this though. That's exactly what I want. Let's get this upgraded for you. Thank you. I've increased its capacity, so you can use more materials now. That's super cool. Awesome! We got the letter! You want to talk about the badge? Sure do. Of course. Let's go over to my office together. So you've earned your first letter of recommendation from the medical association. Everything looks to be in order. And I can see Dr. Nestor's signature on the letter as well. Excellent. I'm happy to upgrade your badge to a higher level. With the new badge, you'll be able to explore further afield to find all the materials you need. I shall be looking forward to your future contributions to the community. That's so cool! Does that mean we can actually go in the Winterland now? It is! Do you remember when we last fixed this machine? Last year, I think. Last year and it looks like that? What happened? Hey, it's the chemist. Looks like Mary's already got the necessary permission this time. Mm -hmm. We were just trying to figure out what happened to this machine. We're blaming it on the harsh weather in this cold place. I swear we must have fixed it six times already. It's so frustrating that it's broken yet again. It's the single biggest problem we're facing here. Hmm. Ba 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 ba. Replacing the gear with a more suitable one? Well, I'm not much of a mechanic. We've already thrown everything we can at it. <laughs> Asking Opal Hart for help? I mean, I think so. We've tried that a couple of times. In fact, we bought this particular gear, the one that's now broken, of her. We haven't tried asking her to redesign the gear yet. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to ask. Could you do that? Let us know when you've got the news. Sure. Maybe showing that broken gear to her would be a good idea. Probably. What's up with this metal gear? Let's head to my workshop and talk about this. Hmm. Repairing the cable car again. Haven't we helped out with this a couple of times already? We use the finest material for everything we produce. Maybe the problem's elsewhere. That's true. We believe our products are the best and I'm pretty sure of that. <laughs> there's no point to just creating the same stuff over and over again. Maybe there's something wrong with the blueprint we're using? Well... The Kimball car was built by people from the capital a long time ago. We took the design from their old blueprint. Perhaps they gave us the wrong blueprint back then? It's not that I don't want to make you another gear, but I would suggest you find another blueprint to avoid this happening again in the future. Wait a minute. Maybe you could ask a friend of yours? Which one? That farm boy who designed a custom wheelchair for his father. That's the one we, we just saw at the beginning of today. You mean Luke? 
he came up with the blueprint for the wheelchair himself. He seems to have a good head for design. Maybe he'll be able to come up with something here too. That's a good idea. You better show him the old blueprint and the gear. Then let us see his idea for it. Mm -hmm. All right. That's the father, Garrett. Is there something you want? Stop looking at me like that. This old tower has a name and it's Garrett. I mean, I just want. I just wanted to say hi. A gear and a blueprint? Let's have a chat about it back at mine, shall we? I don't think this blueprint fits the design of the cable car we have. But since I'm not a mechanic, I can't be entirely sure. Can we just speak about how fancy that wheelchair is? <laughs> you invited the chemist over. You're trying to get married to bulk by crops? <laughs> nope, that's not my job. About the blueprint for the cable car at Glaze Iceberg. Well, you've built yourself a bit of a reputation. But I'm not a mechanic. <sighs> Look at this wheelchair. It's your design. Are you going to tell me that you've been sitting around reading trash all this time? <laughs> no. Now listen up. Reading the odd book doesn't make you incapable of doing what you're good at. Go and show Moonbury what a farmer's son like you can do with all this mechanical stuff. Right. Well, I'll need some time to think about the new design. Do you mind waiting? Mm -hmm. No problem. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm quite confident about the new blueprint. I hope Opal Hart will be able to understand the new blueprint. If it's hard to read, you can come back to me. Mm -hmm. Awesome! Oh my god. I'm not trying to talk to you. The new blueprint? Let's have a look at it on my place. The new blueprint is looking good. But I'll need some materials in order to make this. You understand, right? Of course. Mm-hmm. Good. Now, here's the list of materials I'll need. Come back to me when you've got them. And then, I'll use the blueprint to make the gear right away. We just need some silver for that. Awesome! Let's get some silver! Silver, silver! I think maybe we don't try to kill most monsters today, but we also do need some... Ow, some ones. We need some trees. I believe only these will give silver.
And then for the rest of the day, let's just go fishing. These are far. God. <laughs> I still hear the run. Um, there it is. chest oh it's just money okay that's cool It is midnight, should go to bed. Oh. Small chest this time. So when you don't catch a fish, you have a chance of just getting a chest, I guess? Or is that just random? <laughs> 